Five No Queens, we are now live! Alano Sukre, Karibu Sana, and Buddha to Nakumis Apa, Rulu, to do 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 to Everybody, thank you so much for joining us. Um, we have a beautiful lady here. Her name is Shitakwa, and I think we're going to have a really, really amazing session. Shitakwa, yes. mekunya chai? Yes, nimekunya chai. Ume rivika. Nikona evidence. Ah, Krisha. It's 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 routine that everybody who enters this home, Monday, have a cup of tea, you relax, 
Alafu tuanze kuongea maneno. I'm ready, I'm ready. Thank you so much for accepting to join us, man. I said, ah. Today I have to crown. Abishwe. Na Abishwe. 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 Thank you so much Tako for coming. Hi for having me. I'm feeling nice. I'm feeling like flowing. I'm feeling excited. This this such a vibe here you guys. Like this is going to be a gig after this show. I kid you not. Yes. She told me thank you so much. Thank you so much. Let's dive into it, man. Let's dive into it. So right. I'm sure a lot of people are curious to know who you are. Uh-oh. And um <laughs> this is the place. This is the place. So please start by telling us who are you? Um um I know you are voice itself. Uh-huh. We've already heard. But who is Stapa? Where was Stapa born and tell us about your beautiful voice? Oh, okay. Before I start, mm-hmm. I would like to give honor to the queen herself, Kasiva Mutua, for having me. Drum roll is Drum for real. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Honor is due right here. Um, my name is Shitakwa Musoga. Um, I am a vessel. <laughs> my mother's child. The last born girl. <laughs> the up. only girl. <laughs> I am a child of God. I am... I'm so many things to so many people. Mm-hmm. But I love it. I was born in the leafy suburbs. Of <laughs> Nakuru town, okay. um, and then after that, my parents decided that staying in one town is boring. So we have moved like all my life. I have lived in every place, but it's been fun and I love it because I made very many friends. I never had time to set roots, right. so it made me understand the concept of touch and go. <laughs> I feel you, and and you know the fact that you've you've lived in so many places. I feel it in how you sing because mm-hmm. it's almost as if you have so many, you know, subcultures and intercultures yes. in how you sing. Yes. But we'll, we'll we'll dive into that later, you know, when I ask you, you know, what are your influences. But you know, tell us how you started singing Shtakwa. I know you told me this story and I said, <laughs> guys, it's such a beautiful story. I feel like she should just repeat it. Twambie, twambie. Well, well, well. Um what happened is um because I'm the last one, I found the troop already into things. And my folks are they love home improvement projects. So there's always some construction going on at home. So we have a store. Uh-huh. And this store it has stuff in it like pipes like anything you can imagine. What to see tunajua venye mjengo si tunaendanga. Si tunajua venye si undu. Yep. So when I got bored, <laughs> all I could do is just I remember my brother made a flute out of a pipe. Like it was it was always fun. A construction pipe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I used to think that that's what all other children are doing. Because it was a norm at home. Mm-hmm. So we used to have like um we made a pipe and a a paint can thingy and one wire and it was like a guitar. Wow. And my was that actually functional? Yes, it was. We would do uh, making melodies with it. <laughs> making melodies in my heart. Making melodies in my heart. Making melodies in my heart to the king of kings. Making melodies in my heart. Making melodies in my heart. Making melodies in my heart to the king of <laughs> so yes. yeah, so because of that, um, I would be the one singing. Oh my goodness! Hi, Godric. <laughs> I know this. this like, it's so surprising just Godric to know. Is to my this camera and you I'm see sure all these people. Yes, downloaded Instagram today. <laughs> <laughs> Who is well, that? Well, he can watch me, Godric. Oh, Karibu sana the one Godric. I'm immediately after. Oh, beautiful. We, we beat each other to pulp. <laughs> no, your brother. Yes. A Karibu sana Godric. It's super super on it. Yes. Tuendele. Hey. Ma. So, so what are cutting and guitar now? Why am I? Na drums. Tulikuwa tuna. From can. Yeah, like kuna muti so you can just pluck sticks. Like it's a drumsticks. Drum yes. Natural drumsticks. Natural. Okay. Yeah. So we made instruments out of anything we could find, mm. and we used to sing. Songs. Some of them I can't even remember what they mean right now, but it just be. Bongo na mino koka kola fu. Bongo na mino, bongo na mino, bongo na mino, bongo na mino koka kola fu. Anyway, so it was fun. That's how I started singing. I think I was three years old and I went to school and I discovered like 
it's something different because other kids were not like me. Right. I would always finish songs for everyone else. I would step in when other people forget their lines. My mom was very embarrassed because uh, she's a book smart person. Mm -hmm. But um, it was fun. That's how I started. It was. It was fun. Yeah. It was fun. You guys, it was I so nice. My dad used to pay us to dance and sing. Like I used to stand well, I think, the table. I think yeah, money, 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 money. No, wait, at such a tender age, what would you do? What would you do with your money? Because it's competition. <gasps> we would save it. We had piggy banks at home. Really? Buy all the goody goodies. Hence, my brother is called Goodrick, so we used to call him Goody Goody because of the Goody Goody chocolate. Aww. It was just fun. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is so dope to hear that you know that your parents, um, that your dad was very supportive of your, you know, of your music or of your yeah, singing yeah, from yeah. a tender age. Not as and a career though. Not as a career. Yeah, yeah, but they... that you were you were really tiny. You were how many years old you said? Three. Three years old. That's really, really sweet. Yeah. Um, so you went to school like a normal kid mini nini yes. and teachers were corner. Who you are corner kid to pal and Danny. Tell me about that. Tell me about school. Tell me about um, how you used music in school to enhance your studies. Right. And to enhance. Music was fun. Music is the only language I understand. I've done it for my whole life, really. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I would write all my formulas with in song form. Even how you write an English sentence. Uh, <clears throat> African language does not have English people. Therefore, <laughs> like how to know how to construct a sentence. I would make it a song. I would write all my formulas in science as songs. So in the exam room, I'd be like, <laughs> Are you kidding me? I, oh my God. Stefa told me, Stefa told me on the phone call, you know, prior to this, she told me that she learned the countries of the Echoers. Yeah. Through song. Yes. Right. <laughs> Let us go. Sega mabeli baguto bunini gumai. Sega mabeli gaguto bunini gumai. Echoas, echoas, echoas. Oh, I'm not in the echoas, echoas, echoas. These members. Wait, wait. <laughs> guys, guys. Mimi, <laughs> missing to geography. I need to know Kama Echo has in exist. Now Kama in exist. Jamini, this is a perfect and missing it again, missing it again. So credits go to my music teacher who's called I... Mr. Lizanda. He was like the best thing that ever happened to me. Where I learned how to compose from the late. I learned how to compose from him. I know, right? You guys are laughing at me. <laughs> so there's another one. Um Akosombodam on the river water found in Ghana. I swan high on the Nile found in Egypt. Seven fox on the river Tana in Kenya. That's how I passed my exams. <laughs> guys, 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 keep yeah. the love coming, keep the love. I have um, formulas for chemistry. Oh Everything is a song so for me. Catchy. Yeah. That songs are so, so catchy. He used to teach me melody uh -huh. and he realized that I was a bit too young because I'm about seven. Guys are playing in the field, he's teaching me how to compose. So I used to look at him like, dude, I want to play. <laughs> so he started teaching <laughs> So he decided to remove the theoretical part of it, right. and then we just do what's, what's a melody, what does a melody entail, how do you phrase things. And so for me, such things, yeah, like everything. The solar system, I learned it as a song. Do it, do it, please, please sing it if you can't remember. The solar system. This one, I think, I keep please combo. Solar system. Yeah. This is like some international stuff, man. Solar, it's solar. But your time, by then, Pluto was It was, was a thing. A, a, yeah, was Pluto was still a thing. Still a thing. <laughs> Please, Aki, please remember, please remember, we will revisit this, but as, yes. she, as she tries to remember this um, Solar System song, let's try and catch up on the comments. I see so much love in here, guys. Um, thank you, Alan Masege. Ziki Villa Jasho. Uh, thank you so much. Um, Motra is in the house. Ooh. They've come to test the temperature for some of our daughter next, next week. week. <laughs> Mula mwa, mula mwa. Oh my god, Esther T. Rob says you should see the smile on oh, my face. Oh, they from France. Thank you so much, Esther T. What people cash on? Pacasho Nico. What are you saying? Ah, Hi, you guys. Manga. Oh my god, I see people from Egypt, I see people from Ghana, I see people from Colombia, I see people from the States. 
Tindi. Tindi. We see you, girl. Thank you so much for coming to Vibe No Queens. Mula moi. Ah, me, I'm going to read in Espanol today. Right. And she said, Saludos desde Barranquilla, Colombia. Ah, gracias, mucho. Gracias. Mucho gracias. Thank you. Mucho gracias. Mucho gracias. Te quiero, te quiero. So, we have a book of the system. I guess Jacob. Ah, Jacob Boka. Okay, moving on swiftly. And Itakuja. Moving on swiftly. So, you went to school. Um, Okasoma Vizuri, mm -hmm. and then um, told me something happened along the way that made you stop singing. Yeah, and, you know, I held my breath when, when you told me this because I thought we would never have Shitako sitting right here. Yeah, you know, ding ding ding. ding ding ding. So, yeah, guys, I was singing, I was having fun, life was awesome, everything was nice, and then once upon a time, my father passed away. Yeah, diminished, augmented, thanks. <laughs> Actually, this will to create more. Um, yeah, so my dad passed away. My dad is okay, guys. You see, even yes. my best friend. Like we are, we are so awesome together. He taught me everything. Mm. Um, everything about money. Like when I look back now, I can see how um, it's sad that he's not there. Mm. But it, it's almost like he gave me everything I needed for life. Right. Because. We were really good friends. Everything was awesome. Like everything, money, boys. Uh, <clears throat> one day, guys, my dad put all the money he had on a bed and told me to touch it, lie on it, laugh on it, so that no one can ever impress me with money. Like he taught me such important life lessons. I know, right? <laughs> Drum roll! So, <laughs> <laughs> so when my dad died. Um, it was kind of sad. Everyone was trying to grapple with how it was and my dad was a pillar for my family so everyone was reacting differently and I thought I would never sing again because I didn't see a reason to sing again and I was also like growing a bit older mm -hmm. and <laughs> and because he was the one who was always about music, my mom is the academician. So I knew that this music story is not going to go very far with her. Right on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, it was not gonna work. <laughs> so, how, like, how how did you get to you know, um, because because right now, like, as you were out there, you know, waiting for this life to start, mm -hmm. you mentioned that your mother said, "Watcha ni toke shamba leo ni yes! ende town." Hi, mom. I know you're in there somewhere with nika, someone's phone. Nika, nika, <laughs> nika live. How did it swap from your mom being ish ish about your music to now her actually probably being on this live? Ooh. Um well um well. <laughs> sanitize my words. Thanks. Do. <laughs> Do. Well, um so I I could never post anything I'm doing musical because my mom would see it and then it would be like a whole fight. Mm -hmm. And the last one, I'm the only girl, please. Yeah. I, I, I loved the the comfort of home. Right on. Because <laughs> I was still a juvie, thanks. So, um, so what happened is everyone started telling my mom how she needs to hear me sing. Right. You've never, you've never watched her, you've never seen, like, everyone. Everyone used to see me and be like, oh, has your mom watched you? So oh one day, goodness. guys, I had this really big gig, and I was a big deal in that space, and my mom was like, fine, I'll come. Well, how far back is this? I'm curious. It's like three years ago. Wow! Yeah. So she came and then because I went and told them my mom is coming, they were so thrilled. They saved her like a front row seat. They gave her anything she wanted and she couldn't believe how all these people think I'm such a big deal. Do you see all those love hearts like popping down there? Oh, you guys are so amazing. Do you see all those love hearts right there? Back. That's yeah. how much love. That's how much love I feel too. Aww. When you tell me that you know they saved her the best seat in the house, yeah. and she finally saw you. you she, know, in like after the gig, she was even terrified. She was like, "Are you tired? Can I carry you?" Like, no she, way. she saw how much work goes. You know, people think that you just uh, sing. Like she saw the crazy people who want to fall on me. She saw the the ones who are enjoying it. She saw the ones who are just taken. Yeah. Like after that, a few people could be like, "You look like." 
you are her mother oh my god <laughs> so she's like okay guys bye but like she saw the whole experience and she was so moved so since then it became like okay wow you can still look for a job but it's it's fine that you're doing this thing <laughs> you know you know i'm so um, you know mama thank you so much for you know accepting that invitation and going to that gig because you know, Shitakwa, I, I share the very, very same sentiments, yeah? Oh, really? I know what it means to feel like you're hiding your art. Yeah. And, you know, it's it's a lot of about, you know, your subconscious feelings mm-hmm. and what influenced, yeah. you know... And how long it takes to undo that. Exactly, exactly. And you feel, you know, the urge to hide yes. your gift. But, All but you know, time. there are things that cannot be hidden. And one of those things is music. There's a music. city on a hill cannot be hidden! <laughs> Guys, I love Shitoko. I love her so much. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you know, and, and this, you know, this brings me to ask mm-hmm. or, you know, just to contemplate. Mm-hmm. I'm super appreciative of parents who support, you know, their kids' talents or gifts. Mm-hmm. And, you know, the world is changing right now. Yes. Kitambo, it was a bit difficult, you know, to, to, to ask to Mina Taka Kukwa Rapa. Shika B plus Yako, Mina Taka Kukwa Rapa. It was a bit difficult. I mean, Badu Iko, but, and, and you, you, you might agree with me, um, Kama Umejaribu, Kama Unataka Kufungwa Biashara ya, Kama Unataka Kwa, Walitua Jawa Tuwana Promoting Gima Vitu Online, Influencers. Influencers. Come on, talk influencers. Content creators. Content creators. Kuna mtu ni ambia mzazi wake andi sema yo siyo kazi. Na na kazi zimebadilika and and you know it brings me you know to the point of just being appreciative but also kazi kwetu kuchanua mapero wetu. You feel me? Kazi kwetu kuchanua mapero wetu kuambe you know music is 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 music is work just like any other you know. Yeah. yeah. Now. Wewe ni mwimbaji. Ukaimba ukaimba mpaka ukakubalikana mzazi. Mm-hmm. Nairobi ama you know worldwide mm-hmm. there's a lot there's a lot of singers mm-hmm. basically all around the world that are women. Mm-hmm. And I think from time immemorial and even in you know African traditional culture mm-hmm. there's the singing and dancing mm-hmm. and ululating because I don't know if ululating and singing are part of the same thing, but dancing, singing, and ululating mm-hmm. were actually things that were mm-hmm. set aside for yes. us guys to do. Yes. You know? Yes. And and you know, um, when I was sitting here with Ivy and Labdi and they told me, you know, how much it's been um, what 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 change has gone through for them mm-hmm. to be actually accepted in society. Mm-hmm. I kind of realized, you know, much of the work for singing Il Yes. Now, in in your style of singing. Ama in in the way that you sing, mm-hmm. what connects you with that culture? What what has evolved from you know from singing traditionally to now? Because when I listen to you, I hear tradition. Mm-hmm. When I, when you listen to her, what do you hear? I hear tradition. I hear somebody that has grown from tradition to modern, mm-hmm. but somebody who is living in the now but is still anchored very very much in their roots. Yes. How do you do that? And why do you find if it's something that you do? You know, knowingly, mm-hmm. why do you do it? Ooh. First of all, <laughs> hi, Ale. Okay, yeah, thanks. I need to stop with my ninnies. <laughs> uh-huh. So, first of all, yeah. um, I grew up in a home that had so many people at one given time. Like, I remember probably a minimum of 12 adults because I had uncles and aunts and everyone was thriving from my folks home. Right. It was nice because they were getting an education and doing good for themselves, but also nice because I got to experience so much music. Right. Like everyone had a different taste of music and I tasted each of theirs. Mm -hmm. So it gave me a really heavy African bass. But then also my mom has a soul side. eh? Ah. You can't her, yeah. Like you she, cannot she, her. She has a cool and the gang thing going. Yeah, I'm <laughs> damn well. Um, I mean, I'm not going to sing that song today. I song of men. <laughs> anyway, so so because of that, um, it taught me. And then when I went to school, I really focused on classical music. Right on. Like. <laughs> Anyway, so guys, like it really, <laughs> it stretched me in terms of how far I can go with, <laughs> to be a road, right? Yeah, it stretched me how far I can go with 
with my music right and then i went further from that into jazz because like most of my performing arts life has been in a jazz band so i i then began to remember the roots you know when you step on the ground the roots call you back right on so for me people used to wonder how can you be so jazzy and you're so soulful at the same time? right on but then that's because of things like those like I remember my uncle and my dad thinking a microphone is like it's like a trophy. Right. You just don't get a microphone. Right. Like you need to show me that you need a microphone. So for the longest time I was never allowed to sing with a microphone just so that they can allow me to open up this vessel that I am. So at that time it used to look like torture, but right now, oh my gosh, it's gold. But like me, me, me. Kwanza, first of all, me, I think Shitako doesn't need a microphone to sing. <laughs> like, you, you project so well. Thank you. Uh, you guys, watch up on that to the tunes. I only mean as getting a t shirt. Ah, two. La da da di da. Paremba, kare, paramba, paremari. Saramba de de pa pa de pa 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 di Oh songe songe ni kupe o hondo songe ni kupe o hondo songe songe ni kupe o hondo songe ni kupe o hondo Guys what I'm doing is called improvisation because I want to display my voice as an instrument and I do not want to sing any song that I know previously because that's where the fun is in exploring.
inside of me you have a dream inside of you inside of you inside of you inside of you take it inside of you inside of you don't be scared now inside of you push up push up push up inside of you pursue your dream inside of you Zote pangoni. Toa manyoka zote pangoni. Uh, I have to say your brother said wow. Oh, thank you very much, Guri Guri. <laughs> now, Shitakwa. Yes. Back to seriousness. Okay. What tuna za kwa serious hapa? I think I, I saw a question right here uh-huh. and I, I don't want to skip it uh, real quick because you know comments is in a song sana um, but somebody asked in your experience do you tell do you feel like you treated differently compared to male artists in terms of payment and recognition I think that's a really really important um, <laughs> sentiment in the conversation that we are having of yes. women in music but you know centering on Kenya yes. what do you have to say about that Shitako? well um Let me trim trim. No, 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 no. I got it. I got it. Got it. Yeah. I, I, um the thing is um there are two ways to look at it. I feel like I was really favored in in that area because from the first time I never got to experience it. So I like I had a trend where I was treated right from the beginning. I think it's just Jesus. I don't think cuz I've had very many horrific stories from my fellow women who are in music about how they get underpaid or you know stuff just happens. But I feel like for me I like have not experienced it. Mm-hmm. And because it that's not how it started, I recognized it. So now when I see it trying to come through, I cut it <laughs> like before it happens. Um, because I know my worth, I know my value, I know what I've put in. That's what's up. And so for me, like it doesn't happen. When you call me, I tell you my terms. You're right not on. you're not telling me what you think I'm worth. Mm. Even if you will not pay me what I'm worth, you will know what I'm worth. Shitako, you 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 I'm sorry to cut you short, but you just you exude so much confidence, you know, in what you do. Mm-hmm. And this even proves me to just comment and say when 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 you take a skill and work on it for so long you build so much confidence and you charge mm. that confidence that work mm. that surety that assurance that you know you're going to deliver yes. that is what you charge yeah. and that doesn't have any gender no. in it no. it is just the skill that is talking yeah. right yeah. you really inspire me by how much you really inspire me by how much confidence you have and how fierce you are in your you know you believe in your voice your voice is is your sword mm. it's your weapon yeah this is amazing this is it guys this is my inst- this is my first inst- i've picked up others with time but this is like it. like shaker yeah clave. i picked up the shakers i picked up the kayamba i picked up the clave i picked up I picked up the drum, it's a cutie drum. Family. <laughs> I picked up the cutie drum. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> anyway, thanks. Hi Zawadi. Oh. Yeah. Zawadi Nyongo. She said you um, are worthy. Thank you so much you. for that. You are worthy. Yeah. So, you know, I've picked up many instruments, but voice was my base. And so when people always ask me like, what are you coming with? I'm like, I'm coming with my voice. <laughs> It's, it's enough. Is it just so it weird? It's complete. Isn't it so weird? And you know what? Actually, I don't think it's weird. I just think mm-hmm. a lot of people don't consider voice an as an instrument. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Oh. It's it, I, I, okay. I've been in the music industry for such a long time mm-hmm. and I acknowledge voice mm-hmm. to be an instrument. Mm-hmm. Is is there a simpler way that you can say it or is there a simpler way that you can teach people who are watching who are shocked that probably maybe voice is an instrument voice and this are the same they are one and the same yeah. is there an easier way that you can explain this because 
or is there anybody out there who thinks they can explain this so way better than I can? It's a convo, guys. Throw in the problems. Bring it. So when I first um, started music, I was too young to go into the technical things. So I learned music so much that um, once upon a time I landed um, across Jonathan Butler and he messed me up, guys. <laughs> messed you up? I just like so. I would do that. <laughs> silly, silly guys, silly. <laughs> guys. So, so Jonathan Butler, I sit down with. Uh, he's he's at Kempinski. I'm performing at Kempinski, and then he's watching from across the glass, and you can see that he's feeling, you know, what I'm doing, and so he comes on this other side. He gets on stage, and it was his song they started playing. The band started playing his song. So me, I was ready to leave. And let the legend do the thing. Yes, he's there. And then he's like, Sissy, where are you going? Can we sing together? I was like, hey, Mina, I'm out. <laughs> I'm not going to. Jonathan Butler. Yes. So we sang together. Mutu, tag Jonathan Butler up and down. Uh, somebody please tag Jonathan Butler up and down. So, um, when he was about to leave, he said something very serious. Mm. He said that you're about to you're you're about to get to the next level but there's only one thing and then before he told me what the one thing was his manager came and said like, oh Jonathan we have to go I was like right before my eyes mm. like he's been taken away so that thing made me start doing every and anything that I knew how to find out what that one thing was because I didn't know what it was so when I went to school they had a really hard time because I know everything but I just don't know it the theoretical way Except, <laughs> so it was like they get people who are tabula rasa and paint on it, right? But this is a canvas, it's ready, it's painted, it's hanged. You have to find where to put the paint and how that will make sense. So it really started teaching me a lot of what I know, but in the technical way. For example, this is an instrument, right? I have to take care of it the same way I take care of the guitar. Mm -hmm. Um, this is my resonator. Guys, this <laughs> like yeah, the space say. in my mouth is the resonator. Right. So how I play around with it depends. It, it determines what sound is coming out. Right. My pipes are like my strings. I control my palette, the lower one and the upper one. I control them and play around with them to determine what sound I want to come out. For example, if I want to remove that, <laughs> like there's a. <laughs> There's a way my palate, like, my palate must be rested <laughs> to yes. be able to allow the vibration to because it's a very small space. Yeah. But now when I go like hey, it, that's like the, the, the pellet is straining because the, the space is not the same. Right on. So I had to learn about all these things, how to manipulate my sound, how to you know like it's just so much I can't even teach it like to a, a developed student in like two weeks it's a lot it's experience yeah you have to learn like things like breathing did you know that you can breathe until into your knees <laughs> thanks like it's things like those like like that teach you how to manipulate the amount of breath you can take in because before i used to think breathing till here is all i need but then there's so much space in the body that i can and then you see me sustain a note and you're like where did that come from i'm like the reservoirs <laughs> like right on. the last one every part of my body like because the breath is out so there's a lot to learn about a voice as an instrument yes. and so for me one of the best things that happened to me is i landed in manasse uzele's class shout out to manasse yeah he's the real g yes. <laughs> um yeah and then he was like okay so since we're doing the voice let's get rid of every instrument so I have to play the key for myself in my voice and then use that key to sing for myself. I was like, this guy has lost it. But it really helped me. It does. Because it started showing me, like, when I close my eyes, I see notes floating around and how I can take one and use it. When we came here, like, I was like, let's not practice anything. So when we came in, I was like, oh, some people will be late. I was like, chilewa, chilewa, utapata siwa, chilewa, chilewa, utapata. <laughs> Yeah, so it's just about making music about everything. When I'm happy, I say, I'm so happy. Yeah, and you know, that's just music has become like my 
This My thing. This this is a this is this is amazing. I think you've explained it in a manner that I wouldn't. And I love the symbolism mm. of your your body is yeah. you know your your mouth is the resonator yes. and your you know vocal cords are the little strings mm-hmm. and so on and so forth. Una talk to bless na song moja hivi yenye unaweza show off your low notes kwa sababu nimesikia mtu anasema nikasema okay. Na nikasema nikasema okay. So Guys, let me catch up on the comments up and see what you guys are saying. Lucas Mwesh, you just breathed in no knees. <laughs> okay. Uh, I see you guys, I see you. So, let me sing for you guys a song that <laughs> is about love. Rafiki wa kweli rabana naomba Anielewe bali sio kunikanganya Anipurudishe na anipeje la roho emola ni rafiki wa kweli Rafiki wa kweli kwangu ni wa muhimu Utani hamna ni zawadi ya thamana na milele tutahifadhi penzi letu kuu Nime rafiki wa kweli Rafiki wa kweli huja kwa bibi Anielewe ni muelewe sawa sawa Na kuzoza na masenge nyotu ya hefuke Nime rafiki wa kweli Break it down Nipembeleze, nireke bishe, nikaripie, niliwaze ho Upendo hauchoki Nipembeleze, nireke bishe, nikaripie, niliwaze Upendo huvumilia Wawili wakipendano ni kitu kizuri Mapenzi yao ishara kutoka rohoni Usisa hau mapenzi tia sali sisukari Ni kujitolea na kisha nira Rafiki wa kweli rabana na omba Shedding tears here. Is it why is why is coming out in the first album? So emotional. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. And now she, guys, now I feel like I'm a fail. I'm a host, but miracle gig, miracle gig, miracle gig. Ah, you get it. First album. It's in the first album. She talk about your recording album. Uh, we're supposed to go in studio in February, guys. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this February. Yes. Oh, I thought in a few what? days. In the next uh, week. As in in the next yeah. Week. yeah. <laughs> well, we wish you good luck. Thank you very um, much. If uh, I'm just saying it in front of camera that I will bless your album with percussions. <laughs> 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 
Uh, yeah, she has to. There's a song coming. There's a song coming. This one goes out to everybody because you're supposed to have fun all the time. Happiness is a choice. You actually make the choice. Winner, winner, swera, swera. Happiness is a choice you make, and I choose to be happy. Winner, winner, swera, swera. You don't have to stress here, but if we say it, then we say it. There's a really, really, really serious vibe here, and I'm. Oh my God, she talk about you such a boy. What? She's such a boy. This girl. Thank you so much, guys. I'm seeing all the kindness coming through the comments. <laughs> Burn it see, down, dude. It's this, and you know, it's it's beautiful that you get, you know, you this 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 session of you know mm-hmm. having. Women, female instrumentalists here, and musicians, yeah. is attracting so much love from female instrumentalists online, yeah. and this this is the start of a big conversation. And I'm so happy to see Barbara Guya in the house. I I'm know. seeing Zawadi Nyongo in the house. I'm seeing my Mwalimu, uh, Michelle Maguero in the house. You know, and it's 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 just it's love. I see you, Mama dear. It's love. It's it's <laughs> love everywhere. It's love. Mutindi, you know, it's it's yes. uh, it's it's just it's beautiful. Man, it's beautiful, guys. This is the time that you bring in questions oh, yeah, because it's ten minutes to go to ask me. Yes, please bring them, bring them, bring them, bring them. Keep them coming, keep them coming. And um, today, I think I. Um... Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, I feel like something's coming. Yeah, something's coming. Something's coming. So. Um, Vibe Now Queens has been made possible by One Beat, and One Beat is um, it's a non-profit in the states that is um, that brings you know musicians together. For... Someone wants a live audience. They want to be part of the live audience. Mutalipa, 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 mutalipa. 
Roger. Yeah, okay. So, <laughs> so this this these sessions have been made possible by One Beat, and One Beat is a non-profit from the states. Yeah. That trying uh, to get into forever. What? Yeah. And I'm here. Your, it's a step. It's a yeah. It's, it's a, a step. It's, a, it's, yeah, a, it's a step there. Yeah. Good. So um, this is this was made possible by one bit, mm -hmm. and and we really really. Rudisha yes, shukrani sana. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. And um, we don't take it for granted that you came here and you know shared your magic with us. Oh, thank you, guys. And um, there's a little little something um, oh. in that room there. Um, why don't you just go get it? As why? I, as I, the good <laughs> to me on the show. Why don't you run quick? We have ten minutes. Meanwhile, as she leaves, please keep the questions coming. Hapo, you see two pillows, two big pillows, on the yes. floor, yes. right there at the corner. Yeah. That. Behind it. Oh, Behind it. God. Please bring the questions. Bring the questions as she goes and picks her little little something. Oh um, my God! <laughs> I cannot, you guys. Oh my God! <laughs> so, uh, oh, Kosiari, she has I cannot. <laughs> She can't. Guys, <coughs> first of all, I love food. Uh, <laughs> she loves food. Okay. Second of all, I love good food. Karibu sana shitako, guys. Oh my god, guys. It's, it's, it's all about, you know, kuna mandizi hapa, kuna kakitu hapa ndani, but I will elaborate in the very, very last episode of Vibe No Queens. There's a this question right here as you hold your basket. Okay. Your What's the one thing each of you do every day to nourish your souls and keep that joy flowing. Oh, Zawadi no one asked that. Any rituals that you do, because clearly you are just your your vibes, Shtakwa, yeah. your vibes, and we, we wanna know. We wanna know. Weka 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 chini same as Yeah. Coming from Zawadi, I know she's big on um, self care and. Yes, she is. Yeah, I follow you on Instagram. <laughs> May I follow you? What, what, what is that um, one thing you do to nourish your soul and keep uh, the joy flowing? Well, I feel for me, it's my connection with God. That's like, that's it. Like, everything else stems from there. Right. Yeah. That's the, that's the one Perfect. thing. Perfect. I think I, this so was... So I wake up, I meditate. Um, you know, I get my orders for the day. <laughs> but um, in terms of musicality like the things that i do to keep me grounded is just to focus on the vision focus on the vision right on. Uh, there's a lot of noise that can come from you know everyone else <laughs> right. that has an agenda right um and and you know it's just to focus on the vision because right on the blueprint is something i download every morning right yeah so like it's just to keep the focus right so she anchors herself every single morning she meditates and she anchors herself and she trusts god that everything is going to be all right yeah so I think, yes sir god yes that's the guy. that's the plug um i think this was a question for both of us in the changia kidogo Thanks, yeah, yeah. To end. yeah um i think um what makes what what was um uh, to nourish my soul and keep the joy flowing I I I anchor myself in God too but uh, I also do things that I love because things that I love nourish my soul for me to be able to give um, the same same vibes mm -hmm. because this happiness is not it's not by it's not by luck that this happiness mm. is here I think I think there's a very good vibe here there's a very good vibe <laughs> And and I've felt it really, and this this has been an amazing yeah, session, and you has, really really blessed us with your mm. with your music. Is there any other question? Um, uh, why don't you post your music on social media? Div attitudes. Uh, she, she so she's she's she asked why don't you post your music on social Div media? Div attitudes. First of all, first of all, I'll kill you after this live. Uh, second, <laughs> <laughs> you know why? Yes. All right, I see what's happening. <laughs> I see um, what's happening. Well, um, 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 don't. It's in the works. It's in the. You'll start seeing it. You'll just start seeing links floating on my Instagram because I know we follow each other. <laughs> uh huh. But nice one. Yes. Yes. It's a. Uh... Aisha, don't look at me like that. I see your eyes. <laughs> wow. There's so much love coming in through, man. And and I just. 
if if you don't mind, I just wanna you know just check through and yes, see if I've yes. missed any question. But meanwhile, you can really bless us with one more. Mm -hmm. As we wind up, we have five minutes left, guys. Come on, Konasoliote. This is your opportunity. Opportunity. To. Uh oh. Hey, you guys are just googling at me. I'm seeing the eyes. It's okay. I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. I know. I know what you're saying. Tende kazi, shita wako. Tende kazi. What are you playing? Music. Oh, music. Paru, 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 pa, paru, pa, paru, pa, paru, 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 paru. Oh my god, this is so dope, you guys. This is so dope. I'm not reading comments. I have to play. <laughs> Who you're with, who you're gonna be with, is important to look ahead, don't be shy, don't look away. Na 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 What am I supposed to sing about? Keep going. I'll find something to sing. Okay, this is so dope, you guys. I, 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 you're blessing me, home dream. <laughs> My shiny safari wheel. Uki kwa mausi fe moyo. Search within, search within. You will find where to go. My shiny safari wheel. Na 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 He who called you has a better plan for you. Motivi. Thank you, 
so ready. Na 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 na. Na 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 na. Na 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 na. Thank you so much for vibing na Queen Shitakwa. Thank you. Next week, same time, 5 p.m. to Kona Motra Music. Yes. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. See Thank you. Thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. Bye. I see the army. Oh, you guys are so amazing. Bye. Thank hey, you. Sasa, tuante kukula. All right. We can start. <laughs> Na 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 na